welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog if you watched the last vlog you would have seen that i literally just ended that vlog with me and sophie sat in my bedroom and she's now dropped me off at the train station because i'm off to newcastle for a lunch date with my friend emma because she's going traveling and i'm not going to see her for months and months where's she going do you know that information she's going back to australia so this is my farewell to her um so we're going for lunch going for a few drinks i thought i'd start this vlog here because i'm going to film a little weekend vlog this weekend i think it's jordan's birthday on saturday so i'm gonna vlog as much as i can over the next few days i need to sort out my wardrobe because we've lived at mum and dad's now for like three months isn't that wild it's been three months i know it's, it's flew over hasn't it um and my clothes are a hot mess right now so i need to like really organize and sort it all out um but yeah welcome back to another vlog and oh I thought you'd go that way oh sure oh all right no. never mind I'm sorry welcome back to a new <laughs> vlog and let's head for what's wrong this is like skip to what gives a minute belvy right see you soon when i get to newcastle guys why am i out of focus there we go how are we all this morning i have just fake tanned for the first time in a hot minute like obviously summer's over now my tan is starting to fade by the way if you can see the wall through the mirror we've ripped off sophie's wallpaper and we're repainting it so it currently looks weird because it needs like sanding and plastered and all that type of thing um so if you can see that that's what that is um, she's changing it to like this really nice nude, um, like stony colour. She wants to change the whole vibe of her room. So I am designated interior design helper on this project and it's great. Anyway, like I said, I've just fake tanned for the first time in what feels like forever because obviously in the summer I tan naturally and I usually like tan really quickly and easily anyway. Um, so I never wear fake tan through the summer months. So the last time I tanned was probably like, well, pre-summer. I'm probably going to say last Christmas is maybe the last time I fake tanned. So it felt very strange to be doing it again. However, I was working with Bondi Sands on some Instagram content. Um, so I've just fake tanned. I've used the Bondi Sands Liquid Gold I can't talk this morning. Liquid Gold Self Tannin Foam. I've used this for such a long time now and I also really like the Liquid Gold, um, like the non-foam version where it's just like a liquid. Does that make sense? I just like the Liquid Foam range. Anyway, um, I think it gives you like a nice natural colour rather than like an orange fake tan look. Um, but yeah, I used that. But they actually sent me this gift set. So I thought I'd show you because if you've got self tan girlies in your family or you want to treat yourself i think it's actually a really lovely gift idea so this is what you're getting it it's called the best of bondi and it's an eight piece set so you get your mitt you get the gradual everyday tannin milk which i've used this for years i remember me and Elle using this at uni and it's such a good gradual tan moisturizer you then get the self tan one hour express face mist i've used this for the first time today um as you all know i love the U tan coconut water that is like my holy grail um but i thought i would actually give this a go because it's another mist this one actually has a guide color so when it comes out you can actually see what it is so it's quite good if you want to do the whole like tiktok contouring your face with face tan vibe that's what i kind of tried to do today you get the fake tan eraser which i've used a few times again good at just putting this on before the shower and then when you exfoliate and it comes off i mean that is a part of fake tan which i despise like i really now that i'm back in the fake tan vibe not looking forward to that and um, we've then got the matte one day tan wash off this is so good it literally like mattifies your skin but adds a glow to it it looks like you've like con put concealer or like a body blur all over your skin it's so so good then got the aero um self tan one hour express 
obviously the liquid gold and then the classic dark self-tan foam but i just think that's a really lovely set to get for somebody if they are a fake tanner or they want to try different ones it's a really fab gift this is not an ad by the way i'm working with them on instagram but not on youtube but i just wanted to show you so yeah i'm gonna leave this to develop i'm gonna go and crack on with a little bit of work i'm starving but it's nearly lunchtime so i'm like i might as well just hang off until lunch um so that's the plan i've just got a day of working my new rail also arrived yesterday while i was out so i'm gonna set that up organize all my clothes which i can't wait to do i'll show you the setup in the living room which is my temporary dressing room also jordan's temporary office also mine and jordan's temp temp oh my god temp temporary 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 living room it's serving a lot of purposes right now um i'm gonna go make a coffee and speak to you soon guys i've been sent the most beautiful jewelry ever like i am gobsmacked so this gorgeous brand i don't really know how to say this um but this is the brand i'll leave them linked in the description kindly sent me these pieces of jewelry and I just need to share them with you because they're incredible and they've also gave me a discount code which is Dion15 so I'll leave that on screen and like I said leave these links down below but I just wanted to give you a little haul first of all we've got these earrings how gorgeous are they the quality is stunning I've got the babies here with me for this haul the quality is gorgeous they look really expensive I actually wore these yesterday with like a little knit dress and they looked so so cute I really love those I then got these little earrings which are almost like a little teardrop little gold stud like a bit more dainty a bit more classic you could wear them every day then I got these which are a bit more on the glam side look at those so because I've got two piercings in my right ear and four in my left I feel like these will look really nice in the right one to make it look like I've got more but how lush are they so I got two of those and then this one on its own oh my god how expensive does that look like absolutely gorgeous again i love a little dainty diamond -y e ring i then picked up a few rings so first up i got this one what i love about these is they're all really classic and dainty i usually literally only wear my engagement ring and then my nana's wedding ring and the car earring that jordan got me um but i wanted to get some more like fashion jewelry pieces that i can wear when i'm going out and i want to wear a little bit more these are so gorgeous dainty just look so elegant i love them so that's a little like one swirly situation we've then got this one which is a bit more on the glam side so it's a gold band with then like the diamond e like ring around it again so gorgeous and they actually fit my fingers guys so i sent my actual ring size because usually whenever i get rings they're way too big for me but these actually fit then I got this little like signet ring with a little heart diamond in there. That is so, so cute. And then finally this one, which is quite similar to the first one I showed you, but has a little bit more going on with it. But isn't that just the most beautiful, dainty little piece of jewellery ever? Let me put the rings on and show you. I've just popped some of them on this hand. I absolutely love that signet ring. I think that looks really nice with my other rings and love this obviously i've got the silver in my engagement ring so i feel like that's a really nice way of tying them all together um but yeah i wanted to show you these because i'm so so impressed with them love the quality just gorgeous little pieces and they come in these cute little dust bags with a little box so such a lovely gift um but yeah you can use the code dion15 i'll leave it on screen and let me know if you pick anything up okay guys so this is my current dressing room jordan's office family living room but we're using this as like a place to store stuff so i've already got this one rail which i sorted out yesterday in here was a hot mess like i had stuff everywhere so i moved this into the corner and sorted everything out i've also hung up my sports bras and i've got all my other gym stuff down there because my set of drawers that i had in nottingham has literally just fell apart and i don't really think it's worth buying another set of drawers to have here which i don't want in the new house because in the new house i'm going to have built-in wardrobes so we needed to reorganize so i ordered a new rail to go here excuse me you two <laughs> honestly these two <laughs> anyway
anyway, I've ordered another reel to go here. It's got like shelves. <laughs> You're right there, sis. <laughs> Sophie has been to the gym today. <laughs> just woke up. <laughs> She's been to the gym. She just got back, put her dressing gown on because it's quite frankly freezing. And what are you doing? Going to do uni work? Alrighty. So, third time round. I've ordered a new rail. It's got shelves so I can put my bags on there because my bags are currently just all lay there. Um, it's got more storage for shoes. It's got more hanging room. So, it just means that I've got more room now to start adding more stuff because this rail is jam-packed that whenever I bought anything new, I didn't really have anywhere to put it. So, I've got the rail. Um, I don't know what's going on with you two today. Corby Lou and Wilma Wu. Looking all innocent down there. Yeah, girly whirly. Um, so yeah, ordered a rail from Amazon, hoping that it doesn't take a lot of technical skills because I really can't be bothered. Um, and let's put it up. My tan is developing a really lovely colour. Um, I've just popped on some pyjamas instead of the dressing gown um, so that I can move a little bit better while we put up the rail. Is that okay with you, Mr. Lou? Yes. Excuse me. Yeah. Why are you sad? Okay, it looks pretty self explanatory. There's only four steps. Wish me luck. I'll pop you on a time lapse and let's see if we can build this rail. So, I wouldn't mind a coffee, sweet. I wouldn't mind a coffee. Yeah. Thanks, Dolphus. A coffee was needed and we're about two seconds. <laughs> I don't know if we've got any. <laughs> when me and Sophie are in the house, just us two, it's just a hot mess. Made myself a coffee um, to get me through and I haven't even done a thing yet, so. Reel me in to get it going, open me up Sweet talking like you mean it, but you're making it so complicated I fucking hate it Every time I get too close, you push me away Don't wanna stick, telling me you don't want any obligations And how you hate them Don't call me just cause you're lonely Maybe I'm not I think about it way too much And every single thought Is making me Making me Give me something Straight from your heart All this insecurity Is tearing me apart You're making me Sleepless You're making me sleepless Yeah I keep losing in this game I'm playing pretend I don't wanna be a 4 a.m. I'm suffocating Just by waiting on you So Don't call me just cause you're lonely You know you're killing me slowly Nah Maybe I'm yours Maybe I'm not I think about it way too much And every single thought Is making me Okay, so the new rail is up. Sophie is very impressed with my DIY skills. I only did one thing wrong and had to redo it, so I think that was pretty successful going. It's actually a really good rail. I'll leave a link down below. It wasn't expensive, and it's obviously got the shelves and these little bits that you can like hang bags and stuff off, which is really useful. Um, and yeah, just from Amazon, so I'll leave that linked. I also picked up some coat hangers from amazon just like the velvet ones i've got a pack of like 50 i think i've already used some of them on there and i also got these things because when you want to hang like trousers or skirts i was going to buy just coat hangers with 
obviously like the trouser clip. But I saw these which you just clip onto the thing and then it's multi-use. And these are only £6 rather than buying like a whole pack of coat hangers. So yeah, now I'm going to hang up this stuff, organise what I want on here, what I want on there, put my bags away and finally have some organisation. Give me something free from your heart All this insecurity is tearing me apart You're making me You're making me sleepless Alright guys, and finally we are all sorted and we've got a clear floor, thank God. So I've got handbags hanging on the side, my little mini travel case down there, trainers and boots down the bottom, heels and like flip-flops, sandals down there. Then on this little shelf thing I've got my Louis Vuitton hold all, hoodies and jumpers, runner shorts, bags hanging on all the sides. These little things are very very handy and then I've got all my gym clothes hung up here I feel like I'm living my dream life like this gets me excited for my new wardrobe room because I'm gonna hang up my gym clothes I think because when they're in a drawer I just tend to lose them and I've got so much gym clothes that they deserve to be hung up um so they're all there got sports bras here tops here matching sets here shorts here leggings here and then zip up long sleeve tops hung up some skirts at the back here and then I haven't really organised this I've just kept it as tops, blazers, trousers, shirts, miscellaneous jumpers, coats um, but as I get more of my autumn winter stuff I'll fully organise all that but this feels so much better to finally have it all organised and everywhere has its own place okay guys I can't remember the last time I spoke to you was it when I was doing the living room slash dressing room slash office slash living room um so i've had a shower i've washed my tan off i'm really really happy with how it's turned out like look how natural that looks that doesn't even hardly look like i've got fake tan on really i don't think um so i'm really happy with that i left it on for put on a half 10 half 11 half 12 half 1 half 2 half 3 i think i left it on for about five and a half hours which i prefer doing than sleeping in my fake tan purely because i feel like if i sleep in it I wake up and it can often be right there let me try and prop you up it can often be too dark because I've slept in it and the colors just like develop too much whereas if I do it through the day um, I can like keep an eye on it so when I felt like it was starting to get to a nice color that is when I washed it off and I think it looks really natural and then you can build on it if you want to are you okay come here this little girl she just stands and cries, don't you? Because you're a little needy, darling. Um, so yeah, I washed my tan off. I filmed the rest of my video. I filmed some other content I needed to do. I then took Kobe on WALK. Went to see my grandma while I was on that WALK. Um, and I've just got back. It's six o'clock. Sophie has gone out for dinner with her friend. My mum and dad have gone out for dinner. Jordan's at work event, so it's just me and the two puppuccinos tonight. So I'm gonna make one of my fave, like easy eaten by myself dinners because we all know that if I'm cooking for just me, I need something with minimal effort, okay? So this feels like a real old fashioned Dion vlog. I feel like this is what I used to vlog all the time. Me cooking dinner, me just pottering around the house, me organizing my wardrobes and i really enjoy it i feel like i've really missed doing these vlogs guys um before i start making dinner i had a delivery from my vitamins you all know they are my absolute go-to for vitamins and if anything is consistent in my life because let's all be real going to the gym i'm not very consistent with at this point um taking my vitamins every day is something that i genuinely do do 
You too, Wilma. You like your vitamins. But they just sent me this package for World Mental Health Day and it's the cutest thing ever. So here it is. We've got a little My Vitamin World Mental Health Day. We've then got a mindfulness journal. You all know how I feel about a journal. This is the cutest thing ever. It's got little places to write notes. It's got quotes. The real meditation is how you live your life. We love it. I love a little mindful journal. These are also really cute, like to give people as gifts. We've then got some of the relax gummies, which I've never tried before. Um, so I will give those a go and report back. We've got some cute little stickers here. Gorgy. We've got some collagen creamer. I've never had this either. So I obviously take collagen vitamins, um, but I'm assuming that you add this oh my god wait ready to mix collagen powder with added vitamin c pumpkin spice latte flavor wait what do i add this to a coffee oh my god okay i'm gonna have this in the morning and we'll do a live taste test together because that sounds gorgeous and we've got an eye mask which again is just gorgeous how cute is that such a gorgeous little package i'm gonna try one of the relaxed gummies now black currant flavor Mmm, they're literally like a sweep. No excuse for not getting your vitamins in because it's like having a little sweet, guys, you know? Right, anyway. Let's cook dinner. Okay, so like I said, I like something really easy and simple when I'm eating on my own. I want to just be able to throw it all in a pan, basically. So we've got some diced chicken breast. I'm going to fry that with some red pepper and some frozen peas and some sweet corn once that's all cooked i add half of this thai style jasmine rice and also some soy sauce some oyster sauce and then spring onion on top and that is literally it and it tastes like a chinese egg fried rice oh my god forgot a key component eggs of course so then once everything is in the pan uh, crack one egg or two maybe yeah two eggs into the pan cook those mix it all together and literally is a chinese egg fried rice it is so so good and so easy and so quick um please give it a go because you won't regret it mention that I also add Chinese fried spice to the chicken and the peppers this is key 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 ingredient and here it is guys I mean it doesn't look anything special but trust me it smells amazing and it tastes amazing there's some in there still but yeah this is my little dinner for tonight